Right, I'm going to do a quick video of a multimeter I recently bought via uh, AliExpress from China. This is known as a DT9205A. Comes in various iterations. Um, there's a few um, the similar. Some have a uh, transistor tester up here. Um, some have the ability to connect a, a temperature uh, thermocouple to it. Um, so this arrived in the mail in this uh, in a package with this rather crushed box. Um, it just sort of came in here in a plastic sleeve with the manual, uh, with the meter itself of the probes. Uh, this one came with the, these alligator clip uh, attachments which is uh, uh, one reason sort of that made me uh, want to get this particular one. So I got it and uh, sort of something I'm going to point out in this video is uh, when I got it it uh, was reading strangely on the screen after I put a battery into it. Um, it was, you know, the the uh, display was 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 changing uh, randomly, um, with no rhyme or reason. So uh, I thought I'd um, open it up and see if I could see if there's anything obvious wrong with it. I couldn't see anything obvious wrong with it, but um, I, you know, I'm, I'm figuring, given the price of this, uh, I think it was, it was 12 US dollars all up shipped um, from China. It. They probably just skip the final check. Uh, they probably just assemble it on the line, throw it in the box, and and uh, out it goes. Uh, so I pulled it apart. Um, there's nothing much inside it. You know, nothing spectacular. It's a you know it's a circuit board. You've got the basic mechanism that allows us to turn around, uh, um, and you have the uh, speaker inside for the continuity tester. Uh, when I had it apart, the, the speaker wires disconnected and I had to re-solder them. Uh, that not that well soldered. Uh, but anyway, I couldn't see anything obvious wrong with it, so I'm, I'm just thinking that um, it had been uh, misassembled in some way that was causing a circuit trace to press against something it shouldn't. So I carefully reassembled it, re-soldered the uh, uh, speaker wire uh, and uh, put it back together and um, started it up again and it was fine this time so uh, yeah it um, went rehash I guess if you're looking at this you probably know what a multimeter does um, this one here is not auto arranging um, it does have uh, DC and AC voltages on it um, it does test uh, current both AC and DC which is what I wanted it for um, it does have a capacitance tester it does test res, um, resistance um, I haven't tried these these functions uh, but I yeah, really just wanted to to, sh to to you know to do a video that um, people could have a look and see what this actually looks like and um, sort of just sort of say um, you may get one that's um, behaving strangely out of the box um, if it does uh, if it is showing different strange numbers on the screen when you when you give it a bit of a squeeze like mine was, it doesn't do it now, but um, then you may just simply need to carefully disassemble it, uh, make sure that um, nothing, no wire is in, the, you know, is in a place where it shouldn't be, um, and then uh, push, carefully put it back together again, um, and with luck um, you may be okay. Um, the battery was quite uh, awkward to put in, in here, it's uh, a bit tight, a 9 volt battery. Um, was quite hard to, to, to get into there. This um, it does have a, a rather thin uh, plastic stand on the back, um, but it does work. Um, it does work. This yellow um, uh, piece around the side here does detach, so um, there's no real reason to detach it unless you're disassembling it. Um, you can see it does have 20 amp max. Uh, uh, current test um, that is unfused um, so you'd, you'd want to um, probably exercise some caution and I, I would probably suggest not um, uh, pushing that to that maximum um, maybe sort of keep it um, 10, 10 amps maybe uh, you, you can uh, if, if you need to test uh, more uh, current than that um, what you can do is you can use a 
uh, what's called a, a shunt and then you can do some uh, calculations which I, I won't go into here which will enable you to uh, to do much greater um, uh, current tests than you, you, you could do with just um, what's what's built into this uh, into this meter um, but yeah so w would I buy it? Um, would I suggest that someone else buy it uh, buy this meter I I would say um, yes if you know uh, if you don't mind you know possibly having to pull it apart I don't think everyone would arrive um, misassembled like that but sort of bearing in mind the price uh, of this uh, you know you could get uh, you could get one that um, that um, might not be uh, working out of the box um, but the seller on, on Aliexpress was pretty good the first one just got lost in the mail completely they sent me another, this uh, second one here um, yeah so it's it's not a bad meter the other thing I've noticed is the screen printing around here is is kind of rough um, but you know you you really do get what you pay for and this this for me is perfectly fine it's going to do what I need it to do um, yeah, so um, if you have any questions, uh, just feel free to put them in the uh, in the comments. And I hope this um, I hope this uh, video was uh, was useful for some people. Thank you.